since the activated sludge process was discovered in 1913 in the UK by Edward Arden and W.T. Lockett, the treatment of industrial and domestic wastewater has been largely dependent on biological processes carried out by biomass, known as flocks and sludges. It is this complex biomass composed of microorganisms that is able to break down and absorb organic matter and nutrients carried in wastewater. However, disposing of the waste biomass is a problem. It is difficult to handle, as it is mostly water and takes a lot of energy to manage. Environmental Biotechnology CRC develops advanced technologies based on biological systems to reduce or utilize waste and to improve process efficiencies. One of its technologies, the aerobic granular sludge process, has the potential to revolutionize wastewater treatment by achieving high efficiency and eliminating the biomass removal problem, reducing the footprint of the whole process. EBCRC researchers have discovered that the naturally occurring bacteria in wastewater can form dense granules and can be selectively made to remove nutrients such as phosphorus, nitrogen and carbon. Researchers at the Advanced Water Management Centre at the University of Queensland and Centre for Marine Biofouling and Bioinnovation at the University of New South Wales are developing the granular technology for commercial, full-scale operation. Our research is looking into aerobic granule characteristics and formation in a basic level. Compared to conventional activated sludge processes, aerobic granules are larger have a compact and more dense structure and good selling properties, which provide several operational advantages. Currently, our biggest challenge is to achieve stable aerobic granules, and we believe we can accomplish that through a deeper understanding of their characteristics and their formation. The granular technology has initially been developed for industrial strength waste waters. The EBCRC team is now developing this technology for domestic wastewater treatment. We believe there's a great opportunity here to apply this technology for the treatment of domestic wastewater and so this has great potential to offer savings for local councils and the water treatment utilities um, in their wastewater treatment in the areas of their, their capital outlay costs, their operational costs and their energy usage and their land usage. The aerobic granule technology has the potential to reduce the overall energy and the greenhouse gas emissions from wastewater treatment by up to a third. When it comes to wastewater treatment, dewatering is by far the most energy intensive step. Biosolids or sludges from conventional wastewater treatment plants have water which is hard to remove and therefore very energy intensive. Aerobic granules dewater naturally and eliminate the need for the expensive, energy intensive process. Additionally, there are two other advantages. Firstly, the use of the granules enable more water to be put into the bioreactor. And secondly, the elimination of the expensive, energy intensive equipment enables the plant to have a smaller footprint by up to 25%. The team at the Advanced Water Management Centre has a world-class understanding of biological nutrient removal processes. Combining that knowledge with the understanding of granular processes will provide a sustainable technology that eliminates the need to use harsh chemicals. The aerobic granule technology will have many advantages for industry. Firstly, it reduces its energy consumption. Secondly, it reduces its greenhouse gas emissions. But importantly for industry, it will actually reduce the overall capital cost. The EBCRC is going to provide a rapid start-up technology with stable granules, which are not going to be just an innovation on conventional wastewater treatment. It really will be the technology of the future.